<laughs> well, this is fish number one. We're gonna try to make it three in a row in the Michigan Bass Anglers uh, Bass Circuit. If you've been following videos, I've won. I fished with these guys twice as you already. I've won both. It's pretty impressive against this field of guys. And I'm gonna try to do it three in a row. I'm on Fisher's Lake, Michigan, and I hear this lake's been fishing really tough. In fact, I haven't been here since 2013. So I'm, I'm starting on a main lake hump, hoping to find some active fish out here. And the wind's gonna blow. We're in a cold front. It was 90 degrees yesterday. It's actually 90 degrees all week, and now it's a high of 75. So it's gonna be interesting to see how everything unfolds. Okay. That one feels better than the eight inch I'd caught. He's better. I don't think he's a very good fish. Uh, but he's a smallmouth. And you gotta love smallmouth no matter what. And you know, it's not a keeper, but it's a really good sign. To see how he ate that. Got that in there pretty good. Gives me an idea what they're made with feeding on. The Alabama rig I'm using. You know, this is a. This is a oh, I don't know what the actual name by Loch Ness Lures is. I should learn that. But it's like a Tennessee shad color scheme, so it tells me maybe a little bit about what they're eating. But all right, so you know, decision time. I've been out here for uh, about 50 minutes. I've caught three little dinks. I've covered quite a bit of water, but three little dinks. All three of them come in a very similar. About the same spot. I'm gonna tell you, it stinks out here. So with those dinks, do I consider those? I mean, is that should I stay? Should I stay or should I go? I'm gonna stick around for another 10, 15 minutes. You tell me. You can. I'm, I'm listening to your comments in the down below. Should I stay or should I go? I'm gonna go up shallow and fish some docks. I'm gonna get my troll motor up higher. Got it set up for this. I got great line which if you don't get it wet, it doesn't cast well. So I'm gonna get it all wet, that's why it casts out there, before I get up on the docks. Well, that's a good sign, but that's six pound test floral. You gotta wrap it down that dock. what it is you can't tell but except it's got a lot of bones there so it tells me it's not crawdads been eating bait fish probably a bluegill there probably but i don't know for sure that's fish one yes like the worst case scenario that hook was actually in its tongue a little bit fish tend to die a lot when they get tongue hooked so i put some uh, please release me in it and some ice water temp out here is a little uh, 81 degrees so it's a lot of stress on them so i'm doing everything i can w lower that water temperature and put some whatever you call it stuff to help him out. Always cast in between ducks. Always. We got space in between them. This is a little tiny guy. I don't want to, obviously he's not a keeper, but if you're just out to catch fish, always cast out there. and I, I couldn't get a hold of my handle. Oh, to reel them in. That's gonna be key for number two, though. Under the ducks, it's 200 ducks. Been out here for a little less than two hours. This is not a big keeper. But like I said earlier, this, this lake's been fishing really tough. It might only take a limit to win today. So I got two down, this is a six hour tournament. So two hours ago, I'm sorry, four hours ago to get three more. Yes, how you doing? 
He's a chunky guy. I don't know if he's going to keep. But you probably noticed I took a took a lot of time to get up here. This time of year, you just you got to grind through and get your bites. And uh, hopefully it was worth the move to come up here. Two hours in. Actually, two hours and 11 minutes in. So I got three hours and 49 minutes to go. I've got three keepers. And with the reports and this leg and how tough it is, sounds like I'm in pretty good shape. Definitely don't have the fish I need to win. Definitely gonna need five fish, I believe. If I've caught three, I'm not the only one catches the fish. But the dock bite, I've caught all three in docks. That tells me I better keep doing it, even though I don't want to do it. I think it, I don't like fishing docks. I'm fairly good at it, but I don't like doing it. I'd rather be out there slinging my A-rig. And I'm not, see, here's the deal. Diversity, I talked about this in my last video. Uh, link for that will come up right now. I was diverse then. I gotta be diverse today. I better not get stuck on that either. When it's time to get off those docks, if there is, maybe I get an A-rig bite going or a jerk bait or a dead rig or something like that. Diversity is always the name of the game. is that that's the same dock I caught that fish under with a Ned rig first thing this morning. He kept! He made it! Barely. Yeah, same thing I caught here this morning. Thought I'd come over here and try this area where I caught a couple on the A-rig early. And yeah, that's the same size. This wind's blowing in here. Right on the edge of a hump. The wind will blow down there real good. Fish should be active. After six hours, I got a very small limit. Very small. Might be the world's smallest five fish limit when it's a 14 inch size limit. All five fish came off a 9K Elite Series flipping jig under docks. I knew the docks were coming to play. You're in the Midwest. Frank, I think anywhere in the Midwest and it's in late August, docks are going to become a factor in virtually every tournament. The key to my success really today was just covering water, cover as many docks as I could to see if I can't get a five fish limit because as tough as this lake's been fishing, what I hear, a limit should make me very competitive. I don't think I got a chance at winning, but there's only one way to find out. And that's the let's go wave. You win again? Yes. Uh, well, that'd be nice. I'll take that. How many limits you got to wait so far? None. None? All right. Well, You're the only one. Let's make one of them then. That's what you call a nitro live well. Two, three. Two, three? Well, you're right. Two, three. Eight, four. Eight, four. That'd be three in a row. You know, I just cursed myself for saying that, putting it out there. Three in a row against these guys, and uh, you know, next time I come against them, I'm going to finish like 100.